good morning students today we can see the motion of objects under the influence of gravitational force of the earth for that let us do an activity to understand whether all objects hollow or solid big or small will fall from the uh, height at the same rate we can do that activity one activity it is given in the book 10.3 for that we should take one paper and a stone then drop them simultaneously from the first floor of building observe whether both of them reach the ground simultaneously so that is the activity you know the answer no we see that the paper reaches the ground a little later than the stone and this happened because of air resistance um where will be the air resistance more on the sheet it will be uh, less than the stone because a uh, sheet of paper that uh, mass of the uh, paper that is uh, less and the surface area also sheet of paper it is more than the stone surface area so air uh, resistance air friction that will be uh, more in on a sheet of paper and uh, less in a stone that's why uh, stone will reach on the ground first then after uh, sheet of paper okay and the same activity if you will do in a vacuum then we can see both object sheet of paper and a stone both will reach in the same time on the ground so from this activity we can say that um, if the uh, object that will reach on the ground from a certain height with the same uh, acceleration because earth will attract this both a uh, sheet of paper and a stone with the same velocity with same acceleration that is a 9.8 so if there is no air resistance then all the object that will reach to the uh, ground with the uh, in at the same time okay so from this activity we can conclude that mass size and shape of the object are not a factor in describing the motion of object okay here motion means a motion of the object uh, that is a free fall only means uh, there is no external force except gravitational force that object uh, in in this case only okay in this case mass size shape that is not a factor for describing the motion of object so we can say that object all the objects regardless of size shape or weight Uh, free fall with the same acceleration all the object without its uh, no need to consider their shape mass uh, uh, speed this all no need to consider that all object will fall with the same acceleration in the vacuum only if there is no air resistance okay so um behind this assumption one story is there that is galileo's experiment and uh, that is story it is not given in your uh, syllabus uh, just for your knowledge i will explain on the uh, pisa tower galileo he dropped different object with a different mass with a different mass he dropped from the uh, pisa tower and uh, he observed that uh, the object which having higher mass that reached first in the on the ground and because of the air resistance reason same and then next he, he uh, tied this uh, two stones of different masses with a string then if you will consider the uh, that time both object here uh, are tied together and having greater mass but and that case uh, the mass which is having less that stone will pull the um, biggest stone so that is retard the speed of biggest stone okay so in that case um, considering these two cases we can say that mass is not a factor of uh, motion of object under the gravitational force next we can see the equation of motion 
you know all the three equations of motion v equal to u plus a t a c equal to u t plus half a t square and v square uh, minus u square equal to 2 a s and here it is that is changed v square equal to u square plus 2 a s okay and all the terms also you know u is the initial velocity v final velocity a is the acceleration and t is the time taken and s is the distance and in the uh, motion of the object under gravitational force so the acceleration that is equal to the gravity so that a can replace by g then equation of motion that is converted to in this form v equal to u plus gt h uh, distance s we can take as the height height h equal to ut plus half gt square and v square equal to u square plus 2 a a in uh, here a we can uh, replace by g okay here one, one mistake is there so 2 g h instead of s we can write uh, h and all the terms also given same so this for the calculation of uh, distance uh, time uh, uh, velocity this all we can use this formula next uh, examples are given in the book first example 10.2 a car falls off ledge and drop to the ground in 0 0.5 second let g equal to g means a gravity that is now actual uh, value it is a 9.8 so that 9.8 we can uh, correct to 10 10 meter per second square for simplifying the calculation that is easy then what is the speed on striking the ground what is its average speed during the uh, 0 0.5 second how uh, high is the height is the ledge from the ground this all we have to calculate so for that we can uh, first we can write the terms which are given that is time time it is given 0.5 second that is and then initial velocity we can take as a zero and acceleration due to gravity that is g equal to 10 uh, meter per second square then acceleration of the car a that is equal uh, we can take as a uh, 10 positive plus meet, uh, 10 meter per second square so acceleration also we will take as a positive and negative um, if object will move against the gravitation that means so move upwards then uh, acceleration will be negative and here the object move to downwards so that is the same direction of the acceleration that is why it is a positive then uh, put the value v equal to uh, 80 u plus 80 so that equation we can use first equation v equal to u plus 80 and the first term u equal to 0 that is why here v equal to 80 then substitute the value we will get v equal to 5 meter per second square sorry 5 meter per second then average speed we can calculate initial velocity plus final velocity upon 2 substitute all the values by simplifying 2.5 meter per second then distance traveled by the object there also s equal to ut plus half a t square that formula we can use and here also a that means g okay then first ut ut that term will be zero because u equal to zero then substitute all the values we will get 1.25 meter per second then find uh, answers it is written and uh, next example 10.3 an object is thrown vertically upwards and rises to a height of 10 meter then calculate the velocity with which the object was thrown upwards the time taken by the object to reach the highest point so these two terms we have to calculate then distance traveled that means height that is equal to 10 meter it is given no height it is that is 10 meter and final velocity when, when the object reaches to a uh, height peak point then final velocity will be zero so that is zero meter per second then acceleration due to gravity that is 9.8 and here the object it is moving upwards that's why acceleration it is minus then substitute the values v square equal to u square plus 2 as as means gs then give the, all the uh, substitute all the values in this then we will get u equal to 
root of 196 that is the root, no, root of 40 then u equal to 40 meter per second then second um, we can calculate the time taken by substituting in first equation that is equal to 1.43 second after reading the portion if you have any doubt you may ask today i have completed up to page number 136 above that questions